Roger Babson was the man who taught my friend Dr. Alan Andrews the techniques known as the action-reaction techniques. It is upon these techniques that the median line is based. So when people use a pitchfork they are using really a, a, a minor subset of the action-reaction techniques. The action-reaction techniques were taught to Zagorski of helicopter fame, bird's eye of frozen food fame, and Alan Andrews and others. They were taught to them at the foundation meetings that Roger Babson had, and these were the Gravity Research Foundation meetings. And this is uh, the stone that's left where the foundation meetings were held. Roger Babson was known for this chart here. This was a Babson chart. And this and he was known for predicting the turn in 1929 that resulted in uh, the market going down substantially. So w how exactly do you use the action-reaction techniques? Well, first of all, there's something called the ORE method, and this is a way of determining the center line. And this is a a way of something that Alan Andrews taught that he thought was the best way to determine a center line. And there are approximately six different center lines and it depends on a number of factors so that you know exactly which one to use. For this demonstration here we're going to use the simplest one of them all. It is called the peak and low. Peak to low. Or low to peak. And in this case here the red line here is called the center line and this line here is simply a previous peak to a previous low. It is very important for using this method properly that you know which center line to use. And the ORE method is helpful in that. The, so what happens is, is you have this center line and you have a nice down move here so you draw a line from the peak to the low and then from previous low points here's one, here's one, here's one. Uh, here's, a few, here's another one, down here, here's another one. You draw a line that's effectively called an action line and then you take the distance of this action low, low point here and this action line and you kind of mirror it over to here so that you have action reaction and these here are equidistant. This action here is reaction is equidistant to this reaction here. Now if you're going in an uptrend from this low point here, it's normal to expect prices to simply come up to this point here and then come back down, down below this line and then up we go again to the next one. So this will, is really helpful in giving you an idea as to where the next support and resistance point is going to be. So here's your resistance, here's your support. Okay, And so here's another action point and that goes into the future to this one here and we see here's your resistance, here's your support area and once they broke above this line again it was well they went down to it and boom used it as support rather nicely. Here we have another action point in this case they came down or below it a while and up we go again you need to know with action reaction lines in order to get the precise point where this reaction here will take place you need to use the complete set of the rules not just simply drawing a center line and action reaction lines unfortunately there's not enough time for that here but if you take the course at andrewscourse.com the materials in there and we also have more specialized material so here's another point and as you can see it found this one here. Here's another point and moving out into the future prices were very very strong came back down to that line again and found support. Okay, And, and finally we have the last one that's been drawn here is this one here and as you can see prices found resistance here big time and are now more than likely going down for a while. 
Let's see another example of this in something that people are more familiar with, uh, effectively the, S the stock that depicts the S&P index known as SPY. Okay, let's draw a low to peak line in this case here. So we have low to peak, and in, this, in each case here, since we're using a high point, high point, high point, uh, what we're looking for are the places where we're likely to have strong support rather than resistance, which we had in the other chart. And we can see here, this was the crazy day. Prices went down and reversed and went up for, down made a pivot and up made another one. We go down here, go down to it. That's where you had your support area. And right up here is your resistance. Okay, and once again, they came down for support down here. So once again, it appears that it's time to go up for resistance or some kind of nice strong move from here. This is the action reaction principle using peak to low lines and low to peak lines only to find the next probable support and resistance points. It's much more intricate than that. It is the real basis of the median line and um, we invite you to come over to andrewscourse.com and take the course to get the real nitty gritty on the incredible work of Roger Babson and Alan Andrews.